Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, DOLBOBS here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel, where today we're going to be looking at the brand new Rocket Pass here on Rocket League, and we're also going to be interrupting ourselves to give you a little message. So, this video is probably quite long. As you can see, the length of the video is quite long because I actually went through every single item in the Rocket Pass and I'm sure there's a bunch of items you're maybe not too interested in. So honestly, if you want to just watch this video in 2 times speed or one5 times speed, go ahead. I'm sure you'll probably still be able to understand and it's really the items you came for. So put the video in 2 times speed if you want right now. Let me know if you actually did that in the comments down below. Anyway, enjoy. And if you didn't know, Rocket League has gone free to play just and you can literally get Rocket League for free now. Now, there's a bunch of new things in Rocket League that were updated quite a while ago now, uh, about last week. But Rocket Pass is now in here. It's Rocket Pass 1 because it's Season 1, starting fresh. And it includes this car right here called the Harbinger, uh, which, as you can see, is a very big car. It looks a bit like a Hummer. Um, I've used it with these Daichi Oro wheels, which you get from uh, you get from having the game before it went free to play. But as you can see, yeah, this is quite a nice car. It looks really cool. So if I jump into Rocket Pass, which is right here now in the menu, you can see the Rocket Pass still looks how it used to, but there's a few new things, such as these drops, which are essentially crates. You can get any items out of... Well, you can actually get items from DLCs. You can get items uh, from any crate, so it'll be awesome. These drops are essentially crates that you can open for free. And the chance of getting something really good, obviously, is going to be, I don't know, it's quite low because it's going to be an item from any crate that's ever existed. So we'll have to just see. But anyway, guys, I'm going to take you through every item in this Rocket Pass right now. Um, hopefully, I'll try and be quick with it. So let's have a look. Right off tier one, you have the Harbinger, which is the limited body. Now, there are upgraded versions of this as we go along. So let's have a look. We have the EKG limited player banner, which is like a heartbeat monitor. And in the uh, free Rocket Pass, we have an Aquadome Boy, which goes on top of your car and it flashes. We then have a Fish Rocket Boost. So it seems to be, there's one of the themes here is just water, sort of the beach, makes sense. 10% Party XP Boost, that's quite cool. We have Lunchbox, which is, uh, you know, a topper right here. You can see that, the Salty Shores Lunchbox. Then we have an uncommon drop in the free Rocket Pass. So essentially what these drops are is it will give you items from any crate or DLCs that are uncommon or above. So the chance of getting something good is probably quite low, but you can get anything up to black markets. So that's an uncommon drop right there. Then we have Octane Linares, which is... Uh, I don't really know what's going on here, but you guys can observe that for yourself. We have Android wheels, which are spelled with a one in there, which I don't know. I don't really like them that well, but you can see them right there. We have fifth wheel as a title right there. And we have a uh, Sarp Stripes decal for the Octane in the free one. That looks really clean, to be fair. We then have a Harbinger namesake decal, which is just kind of a nice decal right there. Uh, we then have a 5% XP boost. We have an uncommon drop again. Uh, quite a lot of them in the free one. We have a League Legacy Goal Explosion, which as you can see, uh, what's going on here? It's just some Rocket League balls, I guess, bouncing around. I don't even know what they are, but there you can see it's a Goal Explosion. We have 100 credits. We have String Theory wheels, which are quite cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure the String Theory is to do with space and the universe, so... Um, I mean, cool, I guess. There's just string around tied to those wheels. That's quite cool. Uh, we have Carpooler as a uh, title right here. We then have a Liquid Camo decal, which looks really cool. That's a nice animated decal. You know the animated decals from Rocket Passes are always good. We then have a topper here, Half Pipe, which as you can see is your classic Rocket League egg. Hitting the Half Pipe with his skateboard right there. That's fun. I like that. I really do like the Rocket League eggs. I don't know. Something about them. We then have another uncommon drop on Tier 15. We have a Dominus Dash player banner, which is cool. We have a Harbinger Sally decal, which is, again, just a nice decal for the Harbinger. Make sure you get decals for that. Uh, toppers, the OGBP topper, which is just a boost pad right here. Uh, OG boost pad, I'm guessing that's what that stands for. We then have, what else do we have? Oh, so that was from the free one. We have a title called Gear Shifter. We have a Golex, oh no, 
It's a limited rocket boost called Toon Flame. That's quite a nice boost, to be fair. We have BLSSM wheels, which for some reason remind me of Spiralises in for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why, but they do. I think it's the colours here. But yeah, these are these are odd wheels. I don't know what to think about them. They look kind of like cake cake tins or cake, cupcake uh, packets or whatever you call them. We then have another uncommon drop. We have an engine audio right here, which is motor buggy. It's just a buggy. Uh, we have Harbinger camo decal, which is just a camo decal. Makes sense. Hopefully, I'm not being too slow with this. I do want to show you guys everything. We have the wet wash banner, which looks really nice. I do really like that. 100 credits. Uh, Dominus Ravenous Limited decal, which, as you can see, don't really know what's going on there. Oops, sorry, guys. Not really sure what's going on there. It's just a classic decal. Not many people are interested in those. Uh, we have a Kiwi Wheels, which have a smiley face in the middle. I really like that. A happy little Kiwi on tier 26 there. Love to see that. That's really good. Uh, we have a Avatar Border, which is Booyah. Uh, that's all right. The Rocket Rookie title. Octane Styler decal. That does look like a nice decal. Uh, we then have a... What is this? A Calamaro. We have a Calamaro antenna, which actually goes at the front of your car for the Harbinger. That's quite interesting. Kind of like that. We then have the throwback title. Another uncommon drop. It seems like we have an uncommon drop every five tiers, which is cool. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, we have an uncommon drop there. We also have... Oh, I've gone a bit far ahead. We also have HRB20 wheels, which are just some classic sort of... Oh, they have a fade there. They have an ombre effect, which goes from orange to blue. Do you like that? They're a very sort of industrial wheel, kind of what you'd expect on a tractor or something. We then have the Cactus Cutie uh, topper right here, which is just a cute little cactus. He does indeed wink as well. We have the Booyah avatar border, or player banner, sorry, right here, which goes with the avatar border. Harbar, Harbinger Edge Burst, which is a decal which we've seen before. Edge Burst, uh, you all know what that is. We have Sludge, which is a camo, which looks really cool. I really like that, that's cool. And then another uncommon drop, of course. We then have Octane Booyah decal, um, which as you can see, it's just a Booyah decal, the same theme. We have an Avatar Border, which is called Ombre. That's nice, I don't know, I don't know what you guys think of that. We then have the SOP BC Limited Wheels, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. All right then, there's wheels from them, I guess. That's cool, that's cool. We then move on, we have a cross-platformer title. We have these wheels, which I saw in the trailer, which are these hamster wheels, and you can see it's a hamster running up. I wonder if there's an Easter egg that makes it spin all the way around eventually. Maybe when you're driving, that's what happens. Poor little happens to get spun around a bunch. Uh, we then have Mr. Monsoon. Okay, that's a beautiful goal explosion, guys. Check that out. I love that. Monsoon. Okay, I like that. We have the Free Spirit title. We have the Ombre Avatar bo uh, Player Banner. I keep calling Player Banners Avatar Borders, but oh well, you guys get the gist. You can see it. We then have Basket, which is just a basket, sort of woven basket. Sort of paint finish there. We have, oh, what's this? Shark attack wheels. That's cool. Just a shark biting through some metal bars. We have Harbinger Ombre Limited decal. Um, honestly, you can't really see what's going on there. I'm going to get rid of the anodized pearl. So as you can see, Harbinger Ombre looks a bit like this. I'm sure if I change my colors, it will also change the effect of it here. But you guys will see that for yourselves. Uh, Dominus Gentleman Beef, which is just sort of a muscular guy, I guess. I guess that's what that is. Supersonic Acrobatic title right there. We then have a Rare Drop at Tier 50. We also had that at Tier 45 as well. Forgot to mention that. We have an Engine Audio, which is all right. Uh, with these Rare Drops, by the way, guys, essentially this will give you a Rare item or above, whereas the Uncommon will give you an Uncommon or above. So it essentially means you can't get an Uncommon item. Harbinger Eager, which is a limited animated decal right here. Looks really cool. Really wacky. I like that. We then have Excavator Limited Trail, which is cool. That is that's probably going to be the trail I'm going to use. I really like that trail. We have the SARP BC Trail as well. Nice throwback. They love, they love the throwbacks here. 
Ferris wheel wheels, <laughs> which is quite fun to say. As you can see, it's just a very carnival themed right here. Just, just a Ferris wheel. Looks cool and all. We have a, oh, Harbinger Agamid. That looks like snakeskin on, on another level. I really like that. That looks really trippy. That's awesome. We then have marble uh, paint finish, which is, yeah, as you can see, just marble. Uh, we have a Renegade title. We have Pastronaut title. We have skater wheels, which is obviously a skateboard wheels, which that's awesome. I really thought they should be added to Rocket League a lot sooner. I always thought of having skateboard wheels in Rocket League. So, I mean, there you can see skateboard wheels right there. We then have, oh, what's this? Harbinger Martian Wind. This is a cool animated decal. That looks really awesome. Okay, yeah, that's going to be fun to use. We then have Supernova Boost right here, which looks like the Singularity Goal Explosion. So, I mean, yeah, there you go, Supernova. That's not what a Supernova looks like, but I'm sure they named it for fun. Uh, we have Rocket League Wheels called League Shield. Which shows the Rocket League logo inside. That's cool. I don't know. The text looks a bit out of place. But that's nice. I wonder what they'll look like. Oh, actually, you won't be able to get those painted. But there you go. There's some League Shield wheels. We then have the Harbinger Huntress decal. Which clearly people like. Because they keep bringing back the Huntress decal. So that looks good, I guess. We then have Turbine or Propeller wheels right here. Which are just propellers. I mean, very self-explanatory. These are really wacky. I feel like a lot of these items are really just wacky. They're not really trying to be you know, like cool. They're just trying to be fun, which I do like. We then have Auger or Auger, A-U-G-E-R. A -U -G -E -R, I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Limited animated decal, which looks cool. It reminds me of that Black Market. I don't remember what it's called anymore, but it reminds me of that Black Market. Streamline, that's the one. It reminds me of the Streamline Black Market, but as you can see, looks cool right there. We then have a very rare drop at tier 65, which will give you an item of very rare or above. Then we have a goal explosion called Spatial Rift. Now that's awesome. That's a really nice goal explosion. Painted as well. That's going to look really cool. Looks like a big paint splat and then it all gets hidden away. Then we have the League Legacy Rocket Boost, which is going to be the most annoying rocket boost by the sounds of this. I will not want to be behind someone who uses this. And then we have Mandala wheels mandala wheels these are quite cool i'm sure these will look cool painted i like the mint color i always have looks awesome and then we have the harbinger gxt which as you can see is a pimped out harbinger uh let's see the difference between the original so the original was very plain this one you know it's got hood it's got lights above what what is the difference at the front okay yeah so you got a bunch of stuff actually here look at the difference between that it's really pimped out looks awesome it has the extra sort of case on the side as well. The engine, does anything change there? Yep, yeah, the top actually gets revealed. I really like that. Very off-road, very menacing. I really like that. And then, of course, a very rare drop. And then as you drag across, you get very rare drops every five tiers uh, until tier 90. I'm not sure if the very rare drops will carry on after that. We'll have to see. Um, but if they do, I will let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. That is it for Rocket League's Rocket Pass Season 1, it's weird saying Rocket Pass 1 again, but that is a Rocket Pass 1. As you can see, a bunch of awesome items. The Harbinger car will be really, uh, really fun to use. I'm going to start using it just for fun. Um, and I can't wait to get past Tier 70 and be unlocking some painted of these items. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, let me know what your favorite item out of this is. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.